In just two weeks, an unmanned Orion spacecraft is expected to launch from Florida's space coast. It will be America's first major step to return to launching humans into space. The Orion has been moved to the launch pad and is getting ready to carry the hopes of America and of our astronaut heroes who live and train here in Houston. This is a very important launch and it's really is historic to, to see a human rated spacecraft to go uh, farther than one has gone in 40 years is really exciting. A real shot in the arm for NASA and the country. We've added um, tool belts which allow you to, um, to carry on several different tools. Workers modify spacesuits used in previous launches to prepare them for future manned missions on Orion and the hope is to return to the moon, to capture or land on an asteroid and to go on to Mars. It is a spacecraft in itself. You have your radio, you have all your life support, you have cooling water, you have a drink bag, you have everything that you need to stay alive. What could an astronaut actually tether to the outside? Well, it might be something like this, a high-tech hammer, something they could use to collect samples, actually suck them up, soil samples, whether it's on the moon or another planet. What we're doing is about human exploration. It's about sending people to places that we've never been before. It's about expanding our knowledge base and acquiring the things that only doing these things that haven't been done before uh, give you. The Orion launch will test key systems like computer, parachutes, and power. NASA hopes that it will give the space agency the power and the ability to make a month-long mission in the 2020s farther into space than we have ever gone before. At the Johnson Space Center, Ryan Korsgaard, KPRC Local 2.